Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome to Ask the Stud, episode 5. Now in today's episode of Ask the Stud, we are going to be getting into a load of questions, and I am so excited to get into it all, but first, I'm going to ask you all to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it, it would mean the world to me, just hit the subscribe button, make it turn red. We are going for 25,000 subscribers, so all of that would be appreciated. And with that said, we are going to get right on into your questions. Now the first question we got is from Holy. Um, uh, now this, he asks, Ask the stud, I recently got back into Lego Star Wars and I'm interested in buying lots of battle packs for army building. Do you think it's worth it to buy older ones like 75036 or 35? Those are the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack and the 212th Battle Pack. Or should I stick to the 501st Battle Pack and wait to see if they reintroduce the older ones later on? Now, first off, if you plan on buying the sealed... I'd, I'd first of all just just get the file for style pack. It is at the cheapest point it will ever be for the next two years. So if you have the time to just bulk up on 501st Troopers, this is the time to do it. Uh, they're a great deal. You get four figures in them, obviously. I think it's a good deal. I think you should continue to bulk up on those guys for the time being. Uh, and they're really good. Uh, in terms of those sets, those are going for like even close to $100 now sealed. So there's no way you're going to be able to seriously army build with those types of sets. Uh, which is why, honestly, at least for the 212th one, I think you could wait and hopefully we get one in the future. Uh, for the Kashyyyk ones, I I don't know if we'd get those again. I'd honestly probably just go to Bricklink and find them if you don't care about the builds too much. I just go to Bricklink and find Scout Troopers. I think that just makes a little more sense if you really want those. Uh, and if you if they I, I'd hold out on the two twelfth, I'm kind of you know I think they're gonna come out in the next year or two. It just kind of makes sense to me personally. Uh, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you for the question, and let's get into the next one. We got a lot of battle pack questions today. So the next one is from Aaron Schuster. Ask the stud, what clone trooper battle pack would you like to see LEGO make next? Personally, I would want them to make a shock troopers battle pack. Now, first off, I do not think LEGO will be making a clone battle pack in the near future, at least until the Final Force battle pack retires. I think they're going to wait for that to retire then. Um, you know, they're going to make a new one, and rumor has it that's not going to retire until, like, the end of 2022, maybe even 2023. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That's just a rumor. But the next one, Battle Pack, other than a 212th one, which seems obvious and, you know, I feel like is doesn't need to be said, I would love to see a Wolf Pack Clone Troopers Battle Pack. I think it makes a ton of sense. Uh, you know, the Wolf Pack are pretty beloved, and they're the only ones who I can think of that haven't gotten a Battle Pack that are, like, seriously well-known, famous Clone Legions, like the top five Clone Legions. They're the the one that hasn't been made that I think. And another one, obviously, I think this is the main one I'd personally like to see that, that I feel like could also be the most likely. Uh, would be the plain phase two clone troopers, just regular, no colors on them, just plain phase two would be perfect. I would love that. That's all LEGO needs to do. Let's get into the next question. Next up, we have a question from Weekly Bricks, and he has asked the stud, thank you so much for answering my question last week's episode. Since in the past couple of years, they've been using the main LEGO Star Wars set line numbers for Star Wars Brickheads, do you think that one of the missing LEGO Star Wars 2022 numbers, uh, 75331, uh, or 375340 could possibly be the Ahsoka of 150th Brickheads because there's no sign of it coming this year. So first of all, I 100% agree. I don't think it's going to be coming this year unless they do some crazy December release, which I doubt. Um, first off, nobody's thrown this out there, but I think there's a possibility, however small, that that may be the promo set for May 4th next year. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's just a thought I had. Maybe not substantiated. I wanted to throw that out there. It's absolutely a possibility for one of those sets to be the Ahsoka Brickheads. I don't doubt it because obviously that's not coming this year. So yeah, I, I'd say that's reasonable. Now next up, Boba Fett, the best hunter S. Hashtag S the stud. Do you think LEGO will make an Imperial cargo shuttle? Now for those not aware, that is the ship that was in Rogue One. Now I think LEGO actually did intend on making this. This was a little build they had in an advent calendar one year. Uh, and I think that they were supposed to do this one, but they ended up doing Trenic Shuttle instead. So actually, I do think now more than ever, at least next year, there is the highest possibility of this happening because the Andor show is coming out next year involving Cassie and Andor, which is obviously very exciting. And I think, you know, compared to other years, this is where it would most likely come out because, you know, if you're revisiting that Rogue One era, there's a possibility that we could see that model used again. I'm sure of it. Now, next up, I have a question from Louis Thornton. 
Uh, he has asked the stud, when will the next ARC 170 come out? I know, I know we're doing a lot of these ship type questions, but I wanted to get into this. Uh, now, the ARC 170, obviously a classic ship from Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, you know, we did get one version from that in 2005. We also had a Clone Wars version. And then I don't think we've gotten one since. I think we've only actually gotten two of those. Now, first off, the question is if one will come out in the future. And I'm sure eventually we will see one. I mean, looking towards shows that are coming out between Ahsoka and the Obi-Wan show, there's a possibility we could see some sort of flashback. We also recently got confirmation that Hayden Christensen is showing up in the Ahsoka show, which is exciting. Um, but first off, you know, you look at relevancy, and I haven't seen anywhere it would be relevant, and I honestly think the best shot we have at getting some set like this will be a long time away. It'll be probably 2025. That's when I'm predicting we're going to get more Revenge of the Sith stuff. Because I feel like out of all the prequel movies, that one's certainly the most beloved, and I think LEGO sort of recognizes that based on the way they've produced those sets over the last couple of years. That one's been the main prequel I think they've focused on. Uh, so I think, you know, you're going to have to wait till 2025, which is a long time, unfortunately, three years from now. Uh, but, but, you know, I guess we're just going to have to wait it out, unfortunately. But that's my prediction, at least. Next up, Competi Stud asks, what video editing software do you use and what camera do you have? Now, at the moment, I am using the Canon M50 to record my videos on. I actually have these two big lights from Amazon. I have one that is a spill light and one that is a, a rim light. They are both great. I don't know the exact brand. I know they're not newer, uh, but they're pretty cool. I am using a, I believe, a newer tripod, I think. Uh, and then I also do, do use a camera roller, which you need two tripods to hold up. And that's for you to like, you know, roll and you get cool action looks, uh, which is great. I love my tripod as well. Uh, in terms of editing software, I do use Adobe Video Shop or Adobe, whatever it's called, Premiere Pro. Uh, and that works pretty well. I'm, you know, looking, maybe we could change it up one day, but I'm happy with it at the moment. Uh, it's been working pretty well. Uh, and in terms of other stuff, like for thumbnails, I use an app actually. I still edit my thumbnails on my phone, guys. It's actually called Pixar. It works really well, and I've just gotten so used to it, I don't know if I could ever step away from that. And yeah, that is all of the, you know, the general, you know, editing software and video stuff I use, the camera. I, I, I love this camera a lot. It's been really good to me. I really, really like it. Now, next up, Rose Hill Farm asks, what minifigures do you think will be in the Muppet CMF series? Now, luckily, Lego just, or Promo Bricks actually just put the list out, and I'm very excited about it. I did a live stream on it. Uh, but here are the figures. It will be Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Waldorf and Statler, Fozzie Bear, the Swedish Chef, Bunts and Honeydew, Beaker, Animal, Ralph the Dog, Gonzo, and Janice. This was a good selection. Other than Janice, I think there were so many characters they could have done. They could have done Scooter, Rizzo, Pepe, Dr. Teeth. Any of those people are more famous than Janice. I would have rather seen any of them. They all would have been better. Walter, Constantine. Uh, Janice, I thought, was a more obscure pick out of all of them. Um, but, but it's an all right selection. I'm not going to say it's like the worst selection ever, uh, but it's okay. I, I, it's not the best either, but I'm happy we're getting Chef, Fozzie, Kermit, all those guys. That, that was great. I just think, you know, hopefully we get like a small Rizzo build or something. I, I really hope we will. And that also gives me hope that we'll, they'll do them up at theater one day because they're obviously missing a lot of characters. Now, the next question I have is from Felix the Stir. Uh, it says, do you think LEGO will make a the Bad Batch Crosshair Clone Trooper Battle Pack? Um, now, this depends on their appearance in Season 2. Now, I feel like, I don't know why, they, they won't be as prominent in Season 2 just because most of them died, I feel like. I don't know if there was only that one squad, but they mostly died in the last season. So I don't know if they're going to bring that back. They might, they might. Uh, totally possible. I'd love to see them. Uh, and, and, you know, I do think that there's a strong possibility that we could get something like the 501st Battle Pack, but seeing as we're getting the Death Trooper Battle Pack next year, we'd have to wait till probably 2023 to get something along those lines, which is a long time to wait, by the way. Now, finally, my last question is from Penguin, and I figured we'd get this one out of the way now, so that way we don't have to answer it ever again. I figured episode five is a good episode to do this. What is your favorite Lego set? Now, let's take a trip to my favorite Lego set, and then we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite Lego Star Wars set is the UCS Millennium Falcon. Now, I've actually equipped this up with a lighting kit uh, from Light Lego uh, on Instagram. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I also have a code with him, so if you want to save some money on that, feel free. He sent me this over. Uh, I haven't got a full chance to look at it yet, um, but oh, it is such a good set. This has been my favorite for a long time now since I got it, like a, two years ago. Uh, the lighting kit obviously helps it a ton, 
but it looks great. Um, it's just the reason I haven't is because a few of the lights are missing uh, still, which is annoying, but it's okay. It also comes with some okay mini figures, but that's not why you're getting it. It's just a beautiful all-around set. Uh, now let's go back to the studio. So yeah, the UCS Falcon. Obviously a great set, but with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and all of the things down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you for checking out Ask the Stud again. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.